Well, hello there. The title of this video, Sometimes You Need to Be an Asshole in Business. Once again, the title of this video is You Need to Be an Asshole in Business. Let me give you a little backstory to how I've learned this. This isn't something that's optional. I know many people like, well, there's this entrepreneur who was super nice and there is a difference between being nice in the situation and being an asshole in a situation. I, before the disruptive male showed up, used to be a very nice guy. And with this, came many people that took advantage. After years of this, my inner asshole started to come out. And this is the funniest thing about that. The results that the nice guy got paled in comparison to the results that the asshole got. It's very interesting, super interesting when you look at if it's with women or if it's in business because in both situations, you're dealing with people and people have not changed for a long, long, long time. So I'm gonna to explain to you why sometimes you need to be an asshole in business. If this is your first time here, I'm Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. What we do here is get money through entrepreneurship and hustling. We grow money, we protect money, we make passive income, we do all of that stuff here through legitimate hustles and the matriculation of a hustle to a business, all right? So all that stuff that comes around with money, we talk about, and you're gonna hear some things here that you will never hear anywhere else on any other channel because I've owned several businesses and full disclosure, the first five failed. So along with that, you learn some stuff and I'm here to teach it to you. Now, for those of you who wanna talk to me, and this is where we're gonna get into this topic, I have a few offers below and they're more geared toward business people. Once again, if you're new here, go below. I have some free resources for you that will legitimately help you make money if you apply them. If you just download them and sit on your hands, it's not gonna work. But if you take the information and you go to work, you will make some money. You can make $1,000 your first month off of the free information. That's very important that you understand that. Then I have some enhanced offers that are below. Now, let's talk about why I am an asshole and why I like being an asshole and why I enjoy being an asshole. I just told you I have a free gift for you, right? Also, when I do a live stream, I am there present, it's not pre-recorded, and I'll answer questions. So that is not one, but two freebies. Two freebies. So I don't really feel I need to do anything else for free. Legitimately, I don't. And also, I'm very busy and I don't have time. There are many of you who wanna talk to me and not pay a penny. I recently went into my Facebook <laughs> messages and there was someone, great game, son. You got great game. He was like, look, I know your course is 4,000, but I'm gonna offer you 1,000. And to you, my good sir, I decline your offer. I understand your hustle, I understand your game, and you get an A plus for effort. There ain't no harm with that. But I'm just not, because once again, if you try to contact me on Facebook, more than likely, it'll take several weeks or some cases years for me to find out that you messaged me. I typically don't respond to those. Also, another reason that I'm an asshole in business is I don't do any other free things. Many times people will be in a live stream where they can ask a question. And what their question is like, hey, how can I contact you outside of the live stream? Because they don't want anyone else to hear what they're talking about. They don't want to put that out in the public, but they want me to take time out of my day to entertain them for free free books below, which you will make money, guarantee you will make money, and I ain't sending you a bill. I do live streams and I answer questions, once again, for free. That's your freebies. For many people who come to the channel, they're like, eh, I want a free trial. Nope, that's your freebies. And how do I know this work? And this is the part you're gonna love. This is the part you're gonna love. I have roughly 20 some years of sales experience. 
And typically I know what people are going to try to do. And typically I know the orientation and the reason why they're trying to do it, which usually means I don't have any money with that. I need to give out some shout outs. There are many of you who get this program, who will come on within a week or two, see that I'm legit, see I'm showing receipts, more on that later, and you'll go ahead and buy something. Boom, that's it, you never contact me. There's a second group, in the first group, I love you guys, thank you. There's a second group, they don't leave foul comments in the comment section, they're just like, you, you talk a good game, I, I, I kind of feel it, but I need more. And they're not rude or de condescending or just asshole in the comments. These people legitimately need just a little bit more to say, okay, cool, I can do this. I love you guys because ever since I started posting receipts, y'all been like, okay, I'm with it, I'm with it. And to the third, you know, um, group number one, who buy, who won't even contact me. Uh, group number two, sometimes y'all contact me, but y'all real smooth. Y'all was like, is it this and this? If I do this, yes, and boom, you buy. So group number one, love. Group number two, love. Now group number three. You motherfuckers are never ever gonna buy anything. Never, ever, ever. You will waste my time if I allow it. Because once again, I'm the hustling godfather. I know the game. I know what you're trying to do. You're not trying to seek understanding so you can buy the product. You're trying to figure out if I'm full of shit. And that's your main mission. Your main mission is not to get money, not to become educated, not to learn some stuff. Your main mission is to say, this fucker's lying to me. This fucker's a fraud. And y'all will do all kinds of gyrations and stuff. But here's the thing, y'all work harder at trying to disprove the hustling godfather than you do working on your sorry ass life. You know why? I'm gonna tell you why. Because of the way you were raised. You were raised to be a demo person. You weren't raised to be courageous. You weren't raised to take chances. And this is, this is not your fault. This is your parents' fault. This is your fucked up parents' fault. Because now, they have given you the inheritance of mediocrity, fear, a lack of discipline, no delayed gratification. They just fucked you up all kinds of ways. And now you're an adult and you know in your little troll heart that you need help. But because of the dysfunctional upbringing that you have received from your parents, you just lost. You just lost until some climatic event to some drama, something traumatic happens, you're never gonna change. And it's sad because you could be great, you could be powerful, but because you have had the orientation and the parentage of trolls, you're just a baby troll that grew up. And you hurt, you broke, you are mad, you disgusted. And this is where being an asshole in business helps me because Flashback before the disruptive mail came here, I would have entertained you fools. I wasn't even talking. It's like, I gotta do something. Let me go over here and see if I can convince them. Let me go over here. Well, let me stab myself in my lung, cut off my finger, and prostrate myself on their sensibilities. And you like, nah, motherfucker, you still alive. If you really cared, you'd be dead. Because you're never ever gonna buy because you don't have the principal ingredients of success. I'm sorry. And once again, this isn't your fault. This is your parents' fault. I went through it, but fortunately for me, I had a grandmother that owned the business, a grandfather that owned the business, and I got some of that DNA, and I got some of that tutelage, and my grandmother taught me to read before I went to school. So I, I got a lot of stuff early, and I'm very thankful for that. But group number one, group number two, love you guys. Y'all gonna keep doing your thing. And from me to you, I appreciate you. Thank you. And group number three, I appreciate you too, because every hustling godfather needs some haters to keep the game sharp. So I love you guys too, but not in the same way that I love group number one and group number two. It's kind of like that redheaded stepkid, he yours, you got to claim him, but you really don't like him that much. That's you. In your business, because there's many of you who are entrepreneurs, you're trying to do your thing, you're trying to build something. And you, you have these demo people, group number three, they all on you. They want you to do this. They want you to do this. Here's the thing. They're never going to buy. 
they're never going to buy. So don't waste your time with that group. Be friendly. Be kind. But realize when you're dealing with a demo person, because a demo person, number one, they have nothing going on. I, I know Daryl Lees, Roberto Blake. I know a lot of people that every now and then I want to talk to them, but I know these guys are busy. I mean, Daryl is on the plane literally half a year. Roberto is all over these places. So when I hit them up, I hit them up with something important. And I don't hit them up seeking a favor from people I know who are busy. So that's the first sign that you're dealing with a troll. Trolls, because they don't know how business goes, they will contact you at two o'clock in the morning and then put on your Facebook page like, man, I contact you at two o'clock in the morning. It's been four hours. Why are you getting back to me? Trolls don't understand because they don't know how to be successful. They don't understand the time commitment that goes into being successful. So that, that's one thing. Uh, number two, they want a lot for nothing because they believe in that old adage, the customer is always right. Not really. Number three, look at their Facebook pages. That's going to tell you the tale. Shout out to Erica Williams. Shout out to O'Shea Duke Jackson. They were doing a, a, a Big Booty Betty special, you know, Big Booty Betty, Big Booty Betty, right? And how these dudes who claim that they go in for dimes and they'll never date a single mother. Erica, you've learned well. See, when I listen to people and people come at me, first thing I do if I can, I go check their Facebook page. That will tell the tale. When someone says something sideways or slick, I check their YouTube page. And most of the time is hip hop, rap, uh, cars and world store. See what you are, what you eat is what you become. So if you're consuming world star, you're consuming hip hop and there's nothing wrong with hip hop. There's nothing wrong with rap. But if that's your 100% your diet, you go, you can't think straight in the real world. And Eric was just talking about, don't quit, don't quit, don't quit. You know, be here. I, I went through that in 2013. I know exactly what you went through because here you are trying to help people. And this is a big lesson for y'all that don't want to be helped. They act like they want help, but they really don't want help. Their only mission in life is to prove that you're full of shit. That's it. If, if it came out, because this is also the year of exposing people. And I don't mention names because I don't want any YouTube beefs because I went through that in 2012, 2013. And essentially, it's a lot of stress, it's a lot of worry, and you lose money. I lost about 150K fucking around with some clowns who weren't making any money. And what they did is they brought me down to their level, which is why I have the social media policy that I have today. You say something slick, I'm gonna say something slick and I'm gonna block you and you can just be big mad. I know it sounds crazy. They don't want help because, you know, back to the exposed thing, a lot of people are being exposed. A lot of people are being doxxed. A lot of stuff is coming out about a lot of people. This is one of the reasons that I don't affiliate myself with a lot of people because I can look at them and tell that they're fakes or frauds or charlatans or whatever you want to use. And I don't say anything because it's up to you to protect your money. I'm not starting this because like, how many of you remember uh, the Houthi Raha? I believe that's his name. The Houthi, the Houthi had this wonderful channel. He used to do these stream of consciousness videos and he got into it with Alexis. Six months later, his channel was gone. Just like that. This is what happens. But these people don't want to be helped. They want to be comfortable being mediocre. They want cookies and props and rewards for not really doing their best. They want to be petted on the head like a little child. Oh, you open up your email and you email one customer, here's a cookie for you. Oh, look at Snookum Snookums. They're, they're adult children. And also, let's get to the exposed. I've been on YouTube going into my 10th year. Ain't nobody exposed me. You know why? Because I exposed myself, hence the receipts. Because for that group of number two who are good people, who just need to see a little bit more, the receipts do it. 
That's why I show my house. That's why I show my cars. That's why I make these videos. That's why I show I paid eleven thousand dollars on the on the credit card bill. At the first of the month, after I paid all my other bills, I show you that I'm doing well because you need to see it. Anyone who is selling a service or product something needs to show some receipts. And once again, a shout out to the people. Uh, I remember this gentleman. I don't remember his name, but I remember his comment. It was beautiful. He's like, I didn't need to see that, man. I just knew you were real. Beautiful comment. And I got a lot of people like that because the thing is, I used to be in the worst situation than most of y'all. This is just the way it is. I mean, I was living in a boarding house. I was homeless. And through hard work and time, years, not weeks, not months, but years, I'm here. And here is just a waiting spot. So when I go here, see, I ain't, I'm not content. I'm, I'm happy and I feel fulfilled, but I know I can do more and I will do more. So this ain't like me, quote, arriving. And part of the hate, and this is why being an asshole is great, because I understand when someone is attacking me low key and I give it right back to them high key. I just like you a motherfucker. You stupid. You dumb because any because th this is the thing that drives me crazy. So many people want to be respected while they're being disrespectful. They want to be respected because they feel since I'm here on YouTube that I should just take their bullshit. Well, I'm here to tell you I'm not taking your bullshit. And I used to play the dozens. So more than likely, I can make you real mad. And none of nobody has to take this bullshit because if you're a YouTuber, a podcaster, or Facebook, whatever, and you're putting out good information and good content to help people, and you got some assholes who are saying some shit, go to their Facebook page, go to their YouTube page, and you'll find out that these people not only are saying shit, they ain't about shit. There was this one troll, this one hater, call him Ugly Ricky. He wasn't pretty. We call him Ugly, Ugly Ricky. And he was on my ass in 2012. And he, was, he did videos, almost got his channel deleted. He, he got wise when I did the challenges. And this motherfucker lived in a hotel. Hotel, motel, Holiday Inn, not even Holiday Inn. He lived in a motel, because I was like, why is that little table like that? And why is his bed in the front? He lived in a hotel. And he's throwing stones and rocks and stuff because he was jelly. And instead of saying, look, bro, what can you give me? And this is one of the reasons I give away better stuff than most people sell to help the needy. I understand you can't buy my expensive products. I get it. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to lower the price. This is this is an asshole moment. This is an asshole's moment. What I want to do is raise you up to the price. And I got plenty to give. So here's some courses. Go out there and hustle, make some money and come back. Simple, right? Because I have this abundance mindset. I can create more courses. I can make more money. Matter of fact, those of you who are, you know, because I, I get to do, I got to do an audit tomorrow, the PayPal to make sure. Because see, I've been meaning to do this audit for weeks. There are people who are getting information who have not paid because I hadn't had time to go back and do an audit. And you know what? I don't fucking care because I'll do the audit and I'll send them. It's like, look, you're here. And you know what? I ain't going to even kick you out, but you ain't getting none of the new stuff. Nope, you ain't getting the t-shirts. You ain't getting none of the new stuff. Cause I live this abundant life. There's so much. I'm not gonna needle and dime and tickle someone. Uh, recently I had a friend that I needed his professional service. I asked him how much it costs to talk to you. He sent me this, paid it. This is another thing when you have the abundance mindset. You don't have to beg and needle down somebody and quote, hustle them down, hustle them down hustle them down. You are able to pay them what they want to be paid. And I'm going to tell you something. When you're getting the money you want, you perform like a prize horse. You be winning those races. But when someone's beat you down on price, all you want to do is get that job up with quick as possible, cut corners and stuff. I had a friend, I'm not going to say his name. He would buy these courses and send me to sign in. And I would never, ever sign in. Never. I don't believe in that. I think that's, that's robbery. That's thievery. And he's had some serious situations and I, I found some more information and I didn't even know the dude was like that. You know, he's an asshole in real life. He really is an asshole. And I was like, wow, because I, I just 
You know, I was just like, man. But once again, in business, you're going to have to make some tough decisions. You're going to have to learn how to say no. You're going to have to deal with people hating on you because they know that you can help them and because you won't help them because they've made bad decision after bad decision after bad decision after bad decision. Somehow you're supposed to put on a cape and come to the rescue when they haven't learned the lessons from those bad decisions. So if you give them money, they're going to do the same thing all over again with your money. I will sit down with a friend and talk to them on how to start a business, but I will never give anybody money. My own kid. She's struggling right now. You know, she'd be straight when she's 35, but I told her, I said, I love you enough to let you fail. Because if you don't fail, you don't get those lessons. You just grow up to be a worthless person. Take heart to my entrepreneurs and my business people. Uh, blame was going <laughs> off. Blame was going off on this Facebook page talking about, I almost die every time I come to Sarasota. He was like lit. I was like, be careful, man. They're going to turn you into a meme. <laughs> you better be careful. But in all seriousness, seriousness, being a leader is about making those hard decisions all of the time. When people looking and when people ain't looking. And last year I had a crew. I let them all go. And there were people like, see, you can't keep two offices open. That's, that's the third group, right? What I was doing was preparing for this recession that's here. It's here. It ain't coming. It's here. Now, it's, it's eating up retail. It's now impacted car. The Trump tariffs has impacted farming. So sector by sector is, is spreading through the economy. It is here. It's already touched real estate. So being an asshole, I could have kept them on. But why? Pay people good money to do nothing? You know what happens? Luxuries once tasted become necessities. They, 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 they become, they will just become so untenable as employees because they've been getting paid good money to sit around. So when I introduce and say, hey, you need to do this, that's like, oh, new responsibilities. Does that come with some new money? I've been here, I'm the hustling godfather. I've hired probably 250 people in my lifetime. I know what they are gonna do before they do it. So I cut bait, work my ass off, Started at the bottom, now we here. And we're gonna go here. All right, so that, that's it. Now for those of you who wanna talk to me, live streams, that's it. In the free information, that, that's it. Because unless you own the business, and I'm also gonna tell you, uh, the consultant package is steep. And if you don't own the business, more than likely they're just not gonna benefit you or you're a very high income earner and you want to transition out of your job, all right, because I'm gonna be happy when I do a consult. I'm gonna get paid what I'm pay worth, I'm gonna get paid what I'm asking, and I'm gonna keep it moving. This is what it takes to be the boss. You must set standards, you must roll rough and rugged, and don't give a fuck who says anything about it. And that's what we're gonna do. So below our this free stuff, uh, the links to the consulting packages and some more deals for you folks who want to get put on. All right. So go below, read through everything, see what you like, and I'll see you guys in the next video.